Hi, today I'm going to talk about getting a green card for a spouse if you're living here in Israel and the process that you need to go through. So I want to focus today on a couple of different points that are specific to Israelis who are doing this process here. Um, the first stage that we're going to submit is with USCIS. This is the government body that deals with most immigration applications. Um, and at this stage, one of the important things to point out for Israeli applicants specifically is that the US do not understand, or not that they don't understand, they don't recognize common law marriage, you do embassy ball that we call it here in Israel, which means that if you are not legally married, you cannot make a green card application. So if you want to proceed with a green card application, you first need to be married, have a, a marriage certificate that you can show, and then we can make that application. Another thing to take into account of this stage and the next stage that I'll talk about is that we need to translate documents. So if the documents are not in English, we need to translate them from the original language into English and provide a copy of both documents. The second stage of this process is with the National Visa Center. At this stage, they want to see the financial status of the US citizen. So essentially what they want to see is they want to see that the US citizen is bringing someone to the US and they can afford to finance a person, they're not going to be asking for any money from the, the US. They're not going to ask any, for any money, money from the government. So in order to show that, they need to either show that the US citizen needs to show that they're already employed in the US. And if that's not the case, which we have many clients that that is not the case, they're not currently employed in the US. Instead, they can show financial assets that they have. So this could be savings that you have, it could be stocks, it could be pension funds, it could be property that you own. Um, and if you're able to show those different types of assets, that can show your financial stability. The last stage of this process is with uh, that you'll be called in for an interview. Okay, the interview is done alone with the Israeli citizen, the US citizen doesn't join the interview. And the Israeli citizen needs to go into it for an interview in Jerusalem. Okay, it's important to note that the interviews are done only in the Jerusalem embassy. The US embassy branch that is in Tel Aviv does not deal with green card applications. So it's important when you file your application to only pick Jerusalem. In the interview, they're going to want to check that this is a real, uh, real relationship. So you want to show documents such as your rental agreements. You want to show documents like having a joint bank account. For the interview stage, documents that are in, in Hebrew don't need to be translated. Hebrew and Arabic do not need to be translated into English. Okay. Um, in addition to that, the interview, they're gonna to wanna to see that you guys are actually moving to the US. So you wanna show that you're looking for work in the US, so you've already signed on a job offer. You wanna show that potentially you've looked for an apartment there or where you're gonna be living. Um, those are some of the points that you want to take into account when you're going to be starting a green card application here in Israel. If you have any questions or you're interested in proceeding with a green card application, please get in contact with us and we'll be happy to help.